stop competing against other people's loneliness. Or in other words, stop comparing your loneliness to anyone else's. All you're doing is manufacturing evidence that the loneliness you're experiencing isn't that bad. And you can go on figuring it out all by yourself. My friend, it's tough love time. Yuma, and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe, I'm the loneliness guy, and this is Espresso number eight. This is a mini podcast designed to give your heart, your mind, and your soul a quick connection boost as you, a gay man experiencing loneliness, goes about your day. Let's get to it. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to uh, Espresso number eight. And this is on competitive loneliness. Some tough love is coming your way. As with each as with each connection espresso, I want to first pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past, present, and emerging, and acknowledge them as the traditional owners of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I also want to extend that acknowledgement to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, I want to acknowledge you, dear espresso drinker, be you listening on the, uh, on a podcast service or watching on YouTube. I want to recognize the courage you have shown in pressing play on this episode, because let's be honest, very few gay men look for content on loneliness unless they recognize that they feel lonely. This is a big step, and I want to say that I see you and I recognize your courage. My friend, stop engaging in competitive loneliness. Stop comparing your loneliness to others. Back in Espresso 6, I asked how you got to be in the loneliness pool. I said that we can find ourselves in the pool in lots of different ways or through lots of different ways, like through grief. But once we're in the loneliness pool, we're in the loneliness pool. We're feeling lonely. And I see what I'm talking about here now all the time. One of the awesome, beautiful gay men in my audience who are experiencing loneliness, share some of your like loneliness stories with me. When I invite you to take a step to learn from what your loneliness is trying to tell you, I get a response like, oh no, it's all right, I'll be all right. Someone else needs your services, someone like, and then he goes on to describe someone's loneliness situation he feels is way worse than his. There's a few things here. This is bullshit, and I'm calling it. This is how I know that the thoughts and feelings of loneliness you're experiencing have, your, have you questioning your worthiness for love and belonging. They have you questioning your worth for help and support. They have you questioning your worthiness. Because the truth is, someone somewhere in the world whether they are a real person you actually know or someone who you're making up has it worse than you. But by comparing or engaging in competitive loneliness, you're making yourself feel less deserving of the same help and support that you so freely give to others in your life. You're generating a story that's designed to keep you safe and small. You're generating a story that's designed to keep you safe and small. You're generating it yourself to keep yourself, just to reiterate that. And this is understandable because keeping safe and small is how I, under, how I ended up in the depths of my loneliness pool by consistently making decisions that kept me safe, that kept me small, had me wading into my loneliness pool, into the loneliness pool. But my friend, that story that you're generating to keep you safe, it's keeping you lonely. So it's time you and me call bullshit on the story you're generating. 
we'll do it in a kind and loving way, but we'll be calling bullshit on it nevertheless. It's time you stopped comparing your loneliness to real or imagined people and get the help and support you deserve, you beautiful gay man. And if you need help, I'm right here. I'm gay and I get lonely too, remember? I'm also a prolific storyteller and have benefited from awesome people calling bullshit on them for me too. I've been where you are and I can help you. I'm right here. I'm right here when you're ready. That's it for this espresso. Be sure to check out all my work and services destigmatizing loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally, for beautiful gay men just like you through my website, thelonelinessguide.com. Remember, we're not meant to endure loneliness for long and you're worthy of receiving the same love and support that you so freely give to others. Please like, comment and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone as a gay man experiencing loneliness. And if this episode inspired you, made you think or otherwise supported you, and indeed, even if it made you a bit uncomfortable, that's okay too, please tap the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy and help me reach more gay men. Thank you in advance for your generosity and your support. Thank you too for joining me for this espresso shot. Until next time, take care of yourself, Yara, and enjoy your day. Thanks, YouTube.